Hello and welcome to this video which is a uh, repair video on a couple of strange pickups from a U-Box high flyer. Uh, they look like pretty typical humbucker size P90s with uh, plastic covers rather than normal metal covers that you get with them. Uh, this is a project that has come in from a customer who said these pickups have been previously rewound so I'm not entirely sure exactly how um, how accurate they are to how they were first made with this uh, but uh, I have been told that they need to be rewound back to original spec because he didn't like the new spec with them so uh, I've got the guitar itself uh, with the pickups unloaded obviously uh, behind it so I'll give you a look of the whole thing So it's quite a bizarre looking thing, it's quite a typical Fender style offset with a, a bit of a, a different pickup configuration but it's an interesting thing. Now let's take a look uh, at the pickups themselves. As I said previously, plastic covers, so usually on humbuck size P90s you'd see the covers soldered on, uh, these seem to be completely encased in what seems to be wax it scratches off quite easily so I don't know if that's original I'm assuming as the pickups have been rewound once before this is the uh, new wax but I can't see any other way of um, securing this all on here so I'm assuming whoever rewound them has copied however they were made in the first place because there's no screws into the bobbin there's no connection between the base plate and the and this, uh, typical with these sort of designs, would be to encase it in epoxy rather than wax, but given that it is wax, it means that it will actually be possible to rewind, so it probably is the best way of going about it. Uh, so, before I get into these, uh, I am going to stick them in the wax pot to melt the wax and then disassemble them. And once we get to that point, then I'll turn the camera on again and we can have a look at what's inside. Now the pickups have just come out of the wax and unfortunately they're not coming loose. Uh, the most difficult obstacle with any vintage style pickup uh, rewind or repair is just getting into the damn thing. Uh, removing the bulk of the wax anyway has revealed in close here and focus this. Uh, just in the corner there you can see a little solder spot where the lead is connected onto it. So what I think this is doing, I think this is uh, from the other, s other side of the base plate from the bobbin. And I reckon this solder joint is holding the bobbin in there. So what I'm going to have to do is I am going to have to flow the solder and bend that into what I assume is probably the hole, like on this side. Uh, yeah, bend that back, slip it through the hole while pulling the base plate out, while uh, it still has got a little bit of wax there, so it's not going to be an easy job at it. So, after that previous issue, I have been in contact with the customer to work out where we're going to go from here, because of the adhesive. Uh, the pickup's pretty close to being impenetrable, uh, certainly not without destroying it all. Um, so the idea is now we are going to be 3D printing custom covers and bobbins uh, to fit these because I've got a couple of things to compare the size to here. This is the original pickup. Now, a humbucker sized P90, or this is just a normal humbucker sized uh, cover here. If we compare the, the two there, width wise it is very close, the length. The length of this is quite a bit longer, uh, from, I don't know, about 10 millimeters or so uh, there. And uh, also looking at a Dogger P90, pretty much exactly the same width there, but that's too long. 
So uh, I have compared this all against, um, we're using the base plate um, as a guide against uh, everything that we have in the warehouse. And the closest thing that I found to fitting, which actually looks like a very close fit, is a seven string humbucker base plate. So if we're thinking this is six string and the base plate would end under here, the seven string base plate ends pretty much exactly at the edge there. So essentially what it is, is it's going to be a seven string sized humbucker size P90 uh, built on the base plate. So we're going to have to do some custom drilling in the base plate for the pole holes to go through. So it's, it's going to be a long project, but it should be quite an interesting thing. And here we have it, the bobbin and the cover 3D models. So if we just spin around them a bit. Cover obviously hollow, bobbin is got a couple of screw holes here to go through the base plate and then the pole holes here for the pole piece which obviously is wider at the top for the head of the screw. So now those need to be printed and then we'll be back in a moment with that. Now all the 3D printing is done as you can see we have the bobbin this has been wound and it's a little bit shiny as it has been lacquer potted to remove all the microphonics from the coil moving and then we have the covers over here uh, the sporting material hasn't been removed from the inside here but these should fit directly above there and then one exactly like the other with the pot screws on uh, throw rather and uh, in addition to that now the, this is the surround for the pickups the original surround this is a seven string humbucker base uh, which fits pretty much perfectly inside it uh, all the screw holes seem to, um, on either side here, seem to match just about right. Um, they've been drilled out um, with centre holes to match the uh, bobbins, which will sit on top like that, the, the cover over the top. So all that is left to do now is just to assemble it all the same way any humbucker size P90 would be assembled. Now the pickups are fully assembled onto their base plates here. Uh, the eagle-eyed among you will notice that there's four conductor wire here instead of the normal two conductors uh, or single conductor cloth wire, whatever it is, uh, with single coil depending on the design uh, but this is unusual because uh, because in discussions with the customer he said there is the potential of uh, overwinding these pickups so I suggest instead of tearing the whole pickup down it would be far easier just to wind on top of the existing windings and use it as a tap so that we have another conductor that we can use as the final at the end of the additional windings on top. So that'll make the job a whole lot easier when it comes to it further down and they can just be ignored for the moment uh, in use if it never comes to that. Uh, so yeah, uh, this just is awaiting being wired up here and then the pickups now have had the supporting material uh, the covers rather have been had the sporting material removed so you can see through there uh, I have discovered that the holes are ever so slightly too small here Get that in focus here it doesn't quite go through so they are going to have to be drilled ever so slightly larger so that they, they fit but after that that should be pretty much job done on these and then we'll put them into the guitar and see what they're like and now everything is finished, the pickups loaded in over there. They seem to match quite well despite their matte appearance. And uh, everything's working and it's ready to go off to the customer now.